There is something in common in poetry and in music in a certain way that both of them are the language of man. Which is to say that the poet and the musician together speak a natural and universal language, the original language that all creatures spoke before the fall of man. For in the Garden of Eden, before Adam and Eve had eaten of the fruit of the tree of knowledge, they understood the language of all the animals and spoke such a language themselves which was the divine language from the beginning. This language is, of course, the language of the birds. And what does it mean? What does the shape of a tree mean? What do clouds mean? What is the meaning of the way the stars are scattered through the sky? Of course, we've tried to make sense of the stars to project upon this scattering mythological forms. But actually, music might express the arrangement of those stars more correctly. Do, 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 do. And what would that be saying? What is Bach saying? <laughs> What's the meaning of that? And when a tree grows, you know, it goes kind of... And then after that, it does... Both poetry and music lead us to the understanding of what this world is all about, which is, it's a dance. A rhythm.